Lemon, what does this have to do with Apex Legends? What does this have to do with America? Well, I'll tell you. Pretty much an esports team isn't allowed into America to play a, a pro league due to the immigration system. And that pro league is under none other than Moist Critical. Yes, the Moist Critical. And pretty much it sparked outrage because they're not giving him a reason why. They've done it before, but apparently it's ne like now. And they're Australian gamers. And they're not allowed to play in the US Pro League. Um, they're not giving him any reason why. And the main spark of outrage for Apex right now is pretty much he quoted, if Jesus Christ resurrected right now, US immigration would turn him away. No idea how he's going to fix this. I hope it does. Um, but pretty much I'll, I'll, I'll play the video for you, like a few minutes of it. So I'm not going to play all of it. So you guys can actually go check it out. But yeah, here. I did watch a little bit of it so far. Well, I did already watch all of it, but yeah. Moist I want to go find it. Has one of the best Apex rosters in the world right it now. It is true, we're yes. second place in NA, and we're in a really good position to win mm -hmm. the Major. But the Major is happening on U.S. soil, and the red-blooded patriots at U.S. immigration refuse to let our team come in. Our team is Australian. So we were initially declined and had to pivot, get them to Canada mm -hmm. so they could compete in NA this split, and we resubmitted. And our resubmission has just been declined again for legitimately no real reason because the fucking glue-eating, crack-smoking, coke-snorting, lobotomite morons at U.S. immigration just don't want them in the country for whatever reason they're drumming up here. We have been working with the best lawyers in the industry, the best lawyers on this fucking planet that specialize in this field, and none of them can believe that we've been declined again. They've never had these issues before, so they're as stunned as we are. We even have one of the highest level executives at EA going to bat for us with U.S. immigration, lobbying for us to try and get our team in here because our team is very important to the eSport because we are so highly ranked. Uh, I'll play for pretty much that part. Yeah, this is, he's obviously pissed. This is his team. Um, and I also saw pretty much uh, from a clip from Drama Alert. I use it for, I just use it for uh, this stuff. But pretty much, uh, from what I say, from what I saw from here, uh, pretty much in order for him them to play, he has to cut them out and not play underneath an org. Here, I'll play and this one to too. Cut our team. We mm -hmm. have to release one of the best teams in the entire yeah, that... Apex circuit. Yeah, that's that's fucking stupid. <laughs> that's that's awful. Like right now, America, like in the gaming industry, is pretty much a joke. Um. You can get a pissed at me all you want, but not allowing a team that's been here before because of, you know, thinking that they're terrorists. Like, they don't look like terrorists. Anyways, let me continue. Because that's the only way they're going to be allowed in the country. They can come here as long as they're not being represented by us. Mm -hmm. As long as they are not represented by any org right now, they can come here and compete. Which I don't, I don't understand at all. I, I don't know, understand how, like, the U.S. immigration system works in my brain, but... I would think if you're under an organization, under an American, you should be, they would it'd make sense to be allowed in. Why would an American running an e like an esports team not be allowed in? At this point, I would have thought they tried to deport Obama. I'm from Canada, right? We have like we have a lot of immigrants coming left and right. Like he just stated not even that long ago they had to get them into Canada. Why like I understand like America's past. I think it's kind of obvious for people that have some sort of like representation of like their community would be allowed in and not to be told a reason yeah this should be blown up this should be like this should have had spread awareness it's it's fucking it doesn't make any sense for someone who's play who like who like knows like, not a lot about pro leagues but from someone who's well represented like represented as like most critical i feel should be allowed in america and even with, like, East State of Best Lawyers, they still haven't given him a reason, and they got rejected twice. So that's our only option, because we obviously want the best for these guys. We want them to shine at the Major. So in order to do that, we have to let them go. It's like that fucking scene in Pokemon where Ash sets down the Pikachu and runs away <laughs> crying. It's that's us. Christ. That is literally what we have to do with our team right now. We have to cut them, so that way they can compete at the Major. Because we're out of time, we can't resubmit again, because this process is abominably fucking slow weeks just to get two sentences back from the u.s immigration dinosaurs the fucking fossils that are just bones and dust in those chairs the there. yeah i really hope it does work because that is a very like top two right now that is like it's it's 
uh, I have no words. I really hope it does get fixed. And trust me, guys, I hate like always posting on a negative. Like I tried, I did a, I did a positive for the duos, but this, I feel like, yeah, for one, like me seeing EA and like respawn try like do their best for like something like this is it makes me happy but the immigration system's not allowing them it's not yet yeah, like you said they're not they're not terrorists like i don't understand like oh like he stated like a pretty good like quote Even like i want to see damn, i'm convinced that if jesus christ resurrected right now u.s immigration would turn him away he wouldn't be allowed in here we'd never <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's true though. It's it's true. Uh, like making sure that there's no terrorists. I understand, but y you should be so intense. We're gamers. We, like it's pretty like as a game. It's pretty obvious. Like there's a low percentage of people that don't look like gamers that are gamers. They look like gamers. So what to to like not allow them for not even like they're not even staying permanently just to play in a pro league is absolutely devastating to even the apex community where the most of the apex community hate playing apex but they love it at the same time because they trust and respawn to do stuff but they're controlled by ea but ea ea is trying their best even with the best lawyers and everything that's all the really the news i have so far i really ho do hope that it does like get better and that it, it, it can be fixed and they actually get like stuff if, if i miss something then please, 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 please tell me in the comment section because I would, I would love to know more about this, like it, about anything that happens because I'm not entirely in touch with the pro leagues. I, I know a little bit, but not a lot. But yeah, if you can, I, I, this, like, I really do hope it gets fixed it's for the sake of the Apex community because this is the first like YouTuber really, other than I, I don't know if Phase Banks counts as like a youtuber i feel like he did phase before all that but like this is a like a pro team that is represented good by a community and i hope it does get fixed because otherwise it may, like people are just going to see america more as a joke at this point so uh that's my two cents on this whole situation um if you're pissed i i'm sorry um but yeah um this is probably gonna be uh be goodbye i'll keep you guys updated on anything else